No, because he has proven time. I've always told him. I was always up front. Hey, I'm sleeping with somebody. I'm doing this before we started dating. He was always like, I talk to no girls. I never talk to girls that way. All of a sudden, I want to put my nose in your Trisha's stinks. Can't wait to fuck you. Want to cuddle you. This could be you, this little kid in my arms. Like, he's doing all these things. Oh, here's my boob shot. That's what he texted a girl. He was You posted no. a boob yes. shot? No, but it's not like that. Don't you post, you like sent that. your texts to yeah. some girl? All of those texts were when I was single before we were dating. But you always said, oh, I don't talk to girls that way. And then I was I like, was let me see single the before shot. Okay. we were dating. This is so cringe. Oh, my God. I, it's like, it makes me want to gag. This is what he sent her. I never even checked his DMs. When I got his password, I was like, you know what? This is all I needed. So the night he logged me out, and it was the same night of Hinge, the same night that account came back, and then he logged me out, and I was like, and the next day he tried to be like, it Why'd was you no. log her out? Just for revenge? Yeah, for I just said, I was going to say, show me yours, I'll show you mine. So it was a stupid thing. I didn't think she was going to go so paranoid. Ah, uh, if you log her out, I can see why she got paranoid. You know she's sensitive. Exactly. Even Ethan picked up on it, like. That was weird. Why'd you log her out? I can see why she would be paranoid. And then again, what Trisha was just saying before. Oh, and then he told me it was a joke. Like he logs her out and then he tells her, oh, it's a joke. Cause I just want you to show me yours and then I'll show you mine. And then he's trying to make it seem it wasn't even, he was just joking about it. Like he, Moses isn't a joker, first of all. Like he's not funny. So for him to say it was a joke, no, you're not a funny person for that to be a joke. Sure, I said I'm sorry to you. So have you let her into your DMs? The password again. I have nothing to hide. That's yeah. the thing. To and then I realized, with. that's when I realized I didn't care anymore. I was like, you know what? I don't care. Let's just break up. Okay, so then break up. But again, she's pushing him away to bring him in closer. Well, I think that's drastic. Like Ethan said, it's drastic. Someone does something you don't like or even if, oh, I'm breaking up with you. Like that's her go-to move. When she knows she's not going to break up with the person. She is the boy who cried wolf. Because I literally didn't care. He's like, here's my password. I'm like, no, you did that. Like, I fucking don't care. I actually don't care. So that's why I was like, all right, I'm over it. But like, you actually do care. Like, you just do care. But I think the key is to not care about what's in each other's DMs. It's true. You shouldn't care. Or if you do care, there's a problem. It's more your insecurity. And then if he's in fact cheating, then break up with him. But just because you caught him like in the early stages and then he says, okay, I'm going to stop. And then you guys make up. No, that should be enough for you to leave because why is he even trying to? And you're thinking, oh, well, he didn't actually cheat. No, because you caught him. If you didn't catch him, he probably would have. So might as well break up. If you're catching someone doing something shady on the verge of cheating, just break up. Or here's another thing, Trisha. Don't catch him and let him cheat in peace because you're not going to leave anyway. So let the man cheat in peace. No, because he has proven time. I've always told him. I was always up front. Hey, I'm sleeping with somebody. I'm doing this before we started dating. He was always like, I talk to no girls. I never talk to girls that way. All of a sudden, I want to put my nose in your pussy. Trisha's pussy stinks. Can't wait to fuck you. Want to cuddle <laughs> you. This could be you, this little fucking kitten in my arms. Did you hear that? She's saying Moses put his cats, his kittens in his arm, telling these girls this could be you. And now Moses does not have kittens anymore, nor cats. No, ladies, it can't be you. Moses is not cuddling anything. Not even Trisha. <laughs> I'm just playing. Like he's doing all these things. Oh, here's my boob shot. That's what he texted a girl. This, he was, you he, posted no. a boob yes, shot? Boob no, but shot. it's not like that. Don't you post, you like sent your tits to yeah. some girl? <laughs> Ethan's a joker. Look at him. <laughs> His ears perk up. <laughs> you sent a boob shot? <laughs> Of all the times Trisha threatens to get out her phone to prove herself right and never gets her phone. This is the one time you can't even see her face. She's reaching down so low. All of those texts were when I was single before we were dating. Look at that. Moses saying, all of these times I was single, we weren't dating. Did Trish slow down one bit? Nope. She's still bringing it out. But you always said, oh, I don't talk to girls that way. And then I was I like, was let me see single the tits shot. Okay. We were this is so cringe. Oh my God. I, it's like, it makes me want to gag. This is what he sent her. But this is what she does. She's all day on those messages. <laughs> she obsessed with those messages. Yeah, Moses, Einstein. Trisha is obsessed with the internet. You're not telling anybody anything new. This is the one you chose to be with. That's what she likes to do. She obsesses on these things.
And this is why I'm not sorry for Moses. Watch. There's nothing you special them. about it. <laughs> no. How about these ones? I like you, everything about you. Hold I'm on, gonna kiss every inch of your body. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You. you don't need to humiliate. You don't need to humiliate. Ethan says you don't need to humiliate him. Just stop. Because Ethan had no problem looking at the pictures <laughs> of Moses making his chest into breasts. <laughs> Ethan was all over that. He was like, let me see that. But now when Trisha started reading out what Moses was texting and letting it out into the open, Ethan says, no, you don't need to humiliate him. But you see, Moses, this is why I don't feel sorry for you. Because remember this. It definitely. I'm just being, I'm just trying to tell you of no. something you do. I'm just trying to be honest that I think you have well, this Well, you're issue. wrong on this one. But Sorry. why do you think that like all your friendships, like a lot of your friendships go I've to shit? I've had friends for so many and years. And all of your boyfriends and relationships. That's what I'm worried about Moses is, is that she's got a Rolodex of all this shit on you. And, that, and then when shit goes wrong, she's going to try to ruin shit your fucking life. Shit has gone wrong and I don't You were warned. And like I said, I understand all of Trisha's previous boyfriends. Like, I'd give them the benefit of the doubt. Like, maybe they didn't know about her. But you were warned, Moses. You were warned. I bet you they talked to Ethan. Because remember before, Trisha was like, Oh, you you read all this online. And you read this about Moses. And it was private. It was private. So Ethan now is like, Okay, don't say anything. You know, because it was a big problem when you guys said I stated stuff that shouldn't have been said. Even though it was already public. But you guys were mad at me. So Ethan now was like, okay, don't read it out. But Trisha's doing the very same thing she was criticizing Ethan of doing. Now that Ethan had to stop her. And we both were like, what the fuck? Watch the rewatch episode. We both were like, what are you, don't mention this. Stop talking about this. Mm -hmm. And so you made, so I was like, oh, so I mentioned something you tell me in private, but you can mention anything I say in private, anything I do in private. I DM'd you privately not to be shared publicly and you shared them. Like it's okay when she does it. It's fine. And when Ethan does it, even though it was already public, it was a crime against humanity. Their human rights were violated the way they carried on. And now Trisha's just releasing stuff all willy-nilly. I don't feel sorry for you, Moses. Why? He did it to me. He told me my pussy was stinks. You hear that? Why? He did it to me. Moses, you were there. When Trisha said this. Pain. Honestly, I'm not, I'm, I'm bitter like that. I'm a petty bitch where I'm like, if, if I, you're going to make me feel pain, I'm going to make you feel that same pain. <laughs> like, yeah, that's why that's we love it. you. <laughs> you no. remember that, Moses? You sat there while Trisha told Ethan how she is. So you mess with Trisha, she's going to mess with you back. She don't care. Friend or foe, boyfriend or soon to be husband, she don't care. You mess with her. She'll mess with you. She'll mess with you before you mess with her. <laughs> For real. She'll do what she wants to do. So you've seen her at her best and you've seen her at her worst. And all the in-betweens. You've seen it all. And then what did you do? You put a ring on it. Okay. But this is just a reminder, Moses. Were you pissed? What was your annoyance? Uh, the thing where you said that I have a pill addiction. That pissed you off. It didn't piss me off. I was just like, that's fucked up that she said that. Oh, well, I'm glad because that's exactly what you do to me. That's the point. He, I was he says at my the pussy stinks. And his excuse I was single at the time. I was single at the time. Trisha doesn't care because you're not doing enough for her at that moment. Trisha has her whole couple of months planned ahead and you're not on her timeline. You are falling way behind. Trisha needs a commitment from you, Moses. You're stalling. And so she's going to act out until you give her what she wants. She's going to read your DMs. She's going to show the embarrassing pictures you took. She's going to tell the world all the bad stuff you said about her. She's going to ruin you so that only she can have you. That's, he doesn't. He doesn't think that. Okay. Well, I don't how you think guys, that either. How are you guys gonna get up uh, past this? I'm past it. She's not. Hmm. <laughs> He's a joker, Moses. I'm past it. She's not. <laughs> right. So if she's not past it, you're not past it. I'm not. Yeah. Ethan. Oh. She's with you ten guys. Wait. Let, we were in that let break Ela that talk. I texted Moses, the girl. stop. Stop. Wow. Moses, just stop. Ten. That's a marathon. For sure. Wait, nobody can hear you, Ela. Say it into the mic. <laughs> this microphone is really getting poor from, hands. From, like from mukbang to fucking <laughs> emotion bang. This is an emotion bang. I was saying that 
sometimes people will say really mean stuff not to your face because you're not supposed to see that stuff and the fact right. that you guys are obsessing over reading everything you always say you're reading all of these chats it's just really unhealthy it's not going to end well if you want to or not because you, it's not meant for you to read mm. no it's, it's going to sound to you so mean but you would never say something like that to your face here's the thing Hila. you started out good because you were making your statement vague enough so I included both of them she was like you guys you guys but then Hila then at the end tailored it to Trisha specifically because we all know Trisha does this I Find have all access to Instagram accounts phone Twitter. that's the definition of a good healthy relationship like I always know when you guys are texting him like I always just know like even before when he was you guys were texting him and like what's the tweets like what are these about? I'm like don't fucking respond like it way early on yeah freaky I love it. I know the group chat, so I know so much actually. The group chat. Yeah, I know you're about your guys. I know all the group chats that come through. So even though Hila was talking about, you know, she shouldn't have been reading Moses's DMs. She's Hila to me. It came across as she meant even when she's trying to privately DM her brother or her family or DMing Moses that Trisha shouldn't be reading it because it's not for her. And sometimes they. Hila's family might be annoyed at Moses and they're writing stuff to him, maybe involving Trisha because Trisha at one point said there was things about her in those DMs. And Hila's saying it might seem harsher because it wasn't meant for you to read. And I get what Hila's trying to say, but when you're dealing with a couple who are in a disagreement, an argument, even though Hila is sticking up for her brother, it puts Hila in a bad spot. Because it, at the end of the day, those two are going to make up and then they're both going to turn around and team up against Hila, right? It's like Hila doesn't get any points for trying to stick up for her brother. She's losing points because she's kind of putting Trisha in a spot where she, Trisha is in the wrong. And Trisha's not going to like that. Ethan kind of got off because he was playing both sides. But because Hila was more tailoring her comment to Trisha in the long run because Moses is on Trisha's side and they make up it puts Hila in a bad spot, unfortunately. That's you know? worse, though, because the things I said, I said I knew he would watch my podcast. I never have said anything nasty behind his back. Everything I've said, I've said to his face. So that's even worse when someone says it behind well, your it's back. All Did you catch what she said? She said what he said was worse because it was behind her back. But she said her own was fine to his face because she said it on her podcast. Yeah, on her podcast, her defunct podcast, Dish with Trish, she ran on a whole rant against Moses, Pete speaking about private things about him. But she says right now that was fine because Moses writing to somebody, even though it wasn't smart, but it was him talking to one person privately. They, at the end of the day, decided to release it. You know, he, I, he said he wasn't expecting that to happen, but she said that's worse. Then for her to go on her podcast, because I'm sure that podcast that she had was reaching out to way more people than that other DM Instagram thing that somebody released. Whoever read that. I'm sure her podcast went out to way more people, tens of thousands at least, for her to now say, oh, Moses, what you did was worse. I'm telling you, Trisha is a piece of work. She is a Picasso. Though he hasn't done anything like that since you guys have been together. But new ones keep coming out all the time. Like those new. That one came Sounds out like October 9th. October 9th. Yeah, that's the weird thing. So somebody's <laughs> asleep or so. Every couple of weeks, they're releasing new nuggets of an old conversation. And she's going to get mad every time it's released. Like it's it happened that day. It's something that happened months ago before they were dating and she's going to have the same reaction as if it actually just happened just because the person released it on that date. So her wedding's coming up. If some more text drop right before the wedding, what are you going to call it off? How far are we going to go with this? But it's old. It's from it's old. It's from Moses hasn't done anything like that since you guys have been together. Do you acknowledge that? Yeah. Okay, good. So they that's good. Whoa, yeah, she acknowledges it. He hasn't done anything since then before they were dating. So again, I understand. I'm not agreeing what Moses was doing. I think Trisha should have broke up with him. No, no, I don't think Trisha should have broke up with him. Yeah, I don't really, I don't, I don't get it. Because like she said, they, they weren't together. So I don't know why she's so upset. That's good, right? He hasn't done anything like that since you guys have been steady dating. Yeah. 
Now he says you fucked 10 guys while you guys Well, we weren't there? dating. We weren't dating. Exactly. I texted one girl. <laughs> no, three. One girl, three catfishes. He thought that he was texting three and different girls. what period of time <laughs> did you sleep with 10 guys? How long was that? Mm, May through July. Wow. <laughs> Player. Yeah, exactly. No. And here's another thing. Her saying that she slept with 10 guys and Moses saying he was just talking to one girl or as Trisha says, one catfish or three catfish and one girl or they were the same person, whatever she's saying. Just like she's mad that Moses said he was talking to people, said he wasn't talking to people and it turned out he was talking to people. I don't believe she slept with 10 guys during that time. Unless it was OnlyFans and that's considered work and I don't watch her OnlyFans, I don't know what's going on on that. Unless it was on tape, then I, I will have to take it back. But because I don't know and I don't want to research that, I don't think she slept with 10 people. I think the same way Moses was saying I didn't sleep or I didn't talk to any girls and he was talking to some girls. And he's doing that to appear more desirable to Trisha because Trisha's like, oh, look at this guy. He's amazing. He's just focused on me and he doesn't talk to any other women. He's that kind of guy. And I managed to capture his attention. The same way she was telling him she slept with 10 guys because at that point, Moses wasn't taking her seriously and she was trying to make him jealous. So even if she slept with one guy, she's going to multiply it by 10 just to make herself feel like seem as though she's on the market like Trisha works differently she's not going to be the type of woman to say oh I'm pure or whatever no she's going to give off her true self but like times 10 times 100 to intrigue Moses because she probably found that Moses found it her different from anybody else he's ever dated so I think she hyped it up to make him say hey listen I'm on the market I said put one two three four five ten guys no reason to <laughs> slut shame someone <laughs> Moses says, I got over that. She could get over this. <laughs> what is it for you to get over? <laughs> she told you what she was doing. You guys were in a relationship. So, you know, there wasn't anything for you to get over. It's more like, why isn't she getting over? And like she said, because Moses didn't tell her what he was doing. Yeah, it's true. Like, why are you lying about that? But still, he was like literally, uh, whatever. Again, I'm getting too caught up in this, realizing because Trisha really doesn't care. She just wants her way. Yeah, because so, I'm honest. You know what it is? I'm honest with him. I'm like, yeah, I was up with people. He goes, oh, I don't even talk to any other girls. So as he was, he just lies. Like, that's my issue. At least be fucking honest about it. Like, I was what, honest. What do you say to that? Oh, you're mad that somebody lies? Do I really need to go on from there? No, because <laughs> I was single. I said, thanks to God. But you lied about it. You said you didn't. It On was, the way down to my dad's, you're like, I never text any that other girl. I was a troll and I trolled back. That oh, was he one. calls it trolling him back in that the private one DMs. Was a troll. I was trolling back. It okay. Was <laughs> She's like, I'm coming to He's see you. Like, I, I, think, I think the stupid. most important thing. Okay. The same way Moses was saying that it was a joke is the same way now Moses is saying that he was trolling. You cannot talk to the master troll and say you were trolling. No, that's not going to work. You can't talk to a goofy person like Trisha and say you were joking. You can't talk to a troll like Trisha and say you were trolling. No, you don't give off that vibe. You don't troll. You don't joke. So it comes off as you are not telling the truth. And it is very funny that Trisha has a problem. You know what her problem is with you lying to her is that you're so bad at it. You know what I mean? She would have more respect if you could up your lying game. Moses, you need to up your lying game. You need to level up your lying because you're dealing with master here. <laughs> You're not you're not even talking fast enough for your lies to come up as like it's telling the truth. Get on her level. Thing is that he hasn't done anything like that since you guys have been steady, right? And I think that's really all that matters. The fact that he's still defending that though is like he really thinks he did nothing wrong. Like literally is totally fine. He goes, Yeah. That's the thing, Trish. He really thinks he did nothing wrong. So either you get over that or you can just keep on talking in circles. He doesn't think what he did was wrong. You're not going to change his mind. But again, you don't really care about that. You want something else. Oh, I was trolling her saying, why, come visit why me. Do you, I just don't know why you keep going back to that. Because I can't get past it. And I did, I have talked to therapists about it. And I literally can't get past it. And I'm just like, it sucks. It sucks. Because mm -hmm. it sticks in my head. And it's like the worst thing ever. How can you guys, how can you, how can you make it right for you? Buy a house together? Uh, let's start with that. I have no idea. Like, that's the thing. I don't think he can. Like, like, it's already in my head. Those, uh, those words. The, the stuff about that your pussy stinks and all yeah, that. that <laughs> yeah, let's remind her again, Ethan. <laughs> yeah, that. 
can't control my eating and like all this stuff, like really mm-hmm. personal stuff. He told people, he's like, yeah, she has issues with food. She's high. She's obsessed with me. Like it's good, like, crazy shit that sticks in my head. And mm-hmm. like, she has issues with food. True. She gets high. True. She's admitted that. Dangerous. I've just got to tell you. Yeah, I, don't know I, if you I know. had an overdose on February fifth of twenty nineteen. Oh That's God. when I went to the mental hospital. But they thought I was trying on to kill myself. On Xanax. Mm, I, I just. Well, I don't was also you just drinking. fall asleep? Oh, that's why. See, that... and the whole bottle. Like I took like a whole bottle of Xanax. Why? She's obsessed with Moses. True. Yeah. I'm also really like obsessive. Like I'm obsessed over him. So I feel like a lot. See, of that's people not want... a good quality. No, I feel like that's a good thing because that means you're like all about that person. Like. No, I, like, I, I just, <laughs> I think that's. I wouldn't want to fuck anyone else. Like, you know, that's when I know I'm like, in love with somebody. Like, if I'm obsessed with somebody. Like, normally... So, where's the lie? I'm going to add that other thing he said to it, too. He told me my oh, pussy was stinks. So, um, where's the lie? What are you mad at? You've admitted to all of those things. Your Snapchat name is Trish Like Fish. You play into it. So, I don't know why all of a sudden now it's so offensive. It's not. She's just. Upping everything is so horrible because she wants something from Moses. Moses is not acting fast enough. Moses is not on her timeline. He needs to speed it up. And she is going to make him speed it up. I want to get past it because I have so much fun with Moses. I love him so much. And it's just like, I can't get past it. Like, I just, it's like the first time in my life where I like, I don't want to have sex with someone because I'm just like, oh, like he thinks my pussy stinks. Oh, he thinks I have an issue with food. Like, do you notice why, like, sometimes you care about it, sometimes you don't? Do you notice why sometimes you do and sometimes you don't? Mm. Is there something that triggers it? Yeah. Even Ethan picks up on it. Sometimes you care, sometimes you don't. She wants something from Moses. That's why now she cares. That's her way of pushing somebody to the next level. And Moses thinks he knows what he's doing, but I, I don't think so. I'm going to give the edge to Trisha because this display right here. <laughs> let me just go on. I guess him logging me out of the Instagram that I started not trusting. You start again. having negative feelings and it brings all that stuff up. Yeah. And then I went to that account that posts all the DMs and I saw that they DM me October 9th. And I was like, oh, my God, there's more. There's always more. You got to block that person. You really got to just block that person. They're fucking your life up. They're just but weird. But it's it's where now that Ethan is like, you have to block that person. Because remember, earlier he was saying he thinks that person is Trisha. I don't know one way or the other, but I'm just talking from Ethan's perspective. Now he's more leaning to the fact that it is another person. But something interesting happens. I want to have known otherwise because he doesn't tell me. I tell him everything. I'm like, yeah, I fucked Jay Moore. Like, you know what I mean? I tell him everything. Oh, he gave me an American Express credit card to have sex with him. You know, I say everything. Yeah, but like. Even though you know it, it's not necessarily something that represents his true feelings. You know, that's kind of what you. I think was it's worse. No, I, that's what I'm saying. I think it's worse when it's private and hidden. It's one thing to say it like in spite on a podcast because my feelings are hurt. So I'm like, well, fuck him. He can't even eat pussy. See right there, because she knows she admitted earlier that she said something about Moses on her podcast. So now she has to up the fact, like, even though, you know, you can say they did the same thing, she has to make it different because she has to seem self-righteous. She has to make it seem that what he did was totally horrible. So the way she's doing it now is, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I said it in front of everybody in my po- my podcast, but it's different. And again, she said what she said, uh, uh, something like what she said on her podcast. That's insulting what he said about her. Like, I'm sure he wasn't happy about it. But she's like, oh, yeah, you know, that's that's nothing because that that's that what he did was worse. I know I said in front of everybody. And yeah, Ethan, I complained about you saying stuff in front of everybody about Moses that was private. And I did the same thing, too. But it's wrong when you do it, even though it was public and is wrong when Moses did it, even though that was made public. But he did it privately. But it was different. And the same way she can't see what she did is wrong, and the same way Moses says what he did isn't wrong, you guys are the same in that sense. You guys both don't want to budge one way or the other. But again, you're doing it for different reasons. But, like, it's one thing to say it privately. Like, what if I DM'd you privately, and I was like, oh, wow, Moses has a cheesy cock. Like, it's so disgusting. Well, it was- you know why you didn't say that? Because it's not true. Because if it was true, you would have said it. What you said about him not eating properly... That was true. That's why you said it. Because it makes sense. If you're saying he wasn't eating properly and he told somebody privately that you stink, those two correlate. So I'm of the opinion that Moses was speaking his truth. It's more like he was just kind of venting to some random person. It doesn't really mean that he believes that. 
It does. The, yeah, he believes it, Ethan. You, you, you don't know, but no, no. What Moses texted privately, DM privately, yeah, he, he believed it to be true. Good job, you candles and air Ooh, fresheners. I said candles too. Oh wow! Oh, wow. Yeah. You have a candle problem? Oh, he gets pissed if I'm like lighting candles. Are you sensitive to scents? Oh, yeah, he's sensitive to smell. Yeah, it's both the smell and the smoke of it in a closed room. I need fresh air. All you want to throw our candles out? <laughs> no, it's more certain smells. Like mm. now he, we like, buy them together. Once one that time we, we both weren't buy. even like we Why weren't even that close. He came over and just blew out my candles. I'm like, excuse <laughs> me. You like, did that. <laughs> And he opened the door. I was like, no! That's funny. It's so annoying because I love candles. I must have really irritated him, though. What? I can't breathe. I don't know that I would have the balls to blow out a girl's candles, though. <laughs> I do it all the time, <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Even in people's home if I go to Don't no, you he's... ask? No, I can't breathe. It's like... He's oh like God. rude as fuck when he first meet him. That's why I don't know who the Moses is now. He's so <laughs> nice. Blow someone's candle yeah. out. Oh, he was so rude. He'd that's, be like... That's kind of a wild thing to do. <laughs> he used to be like... I only like you if you wax, not shave. I'm like, oh my God, you can't just say that to a girl. First week of meeting me, I was like, I I'm going to shave. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, he <laughs> I didn't say so it that way, though. That's you pretty say, ballsy, too. No, I didn't now. say that way, though. That's, what did you say? How did you say it? <laughs> More of a preference, you know. Yeah, you just say, just so you know, I have this preference. Not the first week of meeting no, someone. You wax or shave now? <laughs> it wasn't like I that. I shave. I shave. I'm like, Are you I okay with the shaving? But it wasn't yeah, like that. She brought awful. it up, and I was like, yeah, I prefer You brought it up? No. I did not. You're like, I just prefer a wax. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I shave. Moses says you asked him and he answered the nah, question. That's not true. <laughs> she brought it up. She we said had, like, something about you waxing. You know, that's what Big Ed did. Just saying. Moses. <laughs> yeah. yeah that, oh, when we watched it, I, that's exactly what I thought. I was like, you cannot yeah. say that to a girl. Although, to, to be fair, no, Big Ed can't. gave it as a gift. I didn't the say it out of the that blue. It's already like really, everyone feels so sensitive about this topic already. Like girls. Because it's like, well, oh, Moses I'm is saying she look. asked, so there's I a big, not, there's like a whole, there's asked. a huge chasm in oh, what happened oh, here. Wait, the person I just met five days ago, should I wax or shave? No, like, no, it's not that no. crazy. I remember it exactly. She brought it up. She didn't ask me. She brought it up. She just said it, and I said I prefer. Yeah, I prefer waxing. That's not how. That's well, all. Whatever. Anyways, I, he's like, you wax your pubes, Moses? No, nope. no. But I would <laughs> never tell her what to do. That's for sure. You did at the beginning. Not anymore. He's very like whatever. Even if I don't shave well, for three days. Well, if you're gonna be in a long term relationship, you better get ready for no, whatever. No, he's great now. Like, honestly, like, <laughs> is a different person. I'm like, who is this person? Like, I don't even know who this person is. He's, like, insanely nice. Like, Who are you? <laughs> and same here. Same here, you know. And he's like, doesn't matter if her. I wear big ass underwear. He's like, those are sexy. I was like, ah, he's just a... Y'all better get used to it. I mean, no, that's what it is. <laughs> oh, no, he doesn't care at all. If I don't shave for, like, four days, like, whatever. Like, he doesn't care. I mean, what I do. What if she doesn't shave, shave for a month? She can do what she wants to do. That's not true. He's such a liar. He would what? tear <laughs> He would not right, be with all me. All right, enough no, but the we pubing. have the same preferences. He hates bushes. This isn't the pubening. <laughs> to go to content court, which is great if that's your passion project, but at the same time, let's focus on what makes money. You know so just saying? frenemies that you're saying you're going to quit. <laughs> you're going to quit next week. All right. You can replace me. If you're quitting, I got to do, I got to buy you guys a therapist or something. I got to make sure you guys get married because I don't want this to stop. <laughs>